Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the perimeter of the following composite shapes with missing sides. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, to find the perimeter of the shown composite shape, I need to find the sum of all the sides. However, I have two unknown sides, X and Y. To find the value of X and Y, starting with X, I need to highlight all the sides that are parallel to X. If you check your diagram, the line 15 centimeters is parallel to the line X and I have the longest side, 30 centimeters. If I pull down each of these sides to match each other, starting with the 15 centimeters, I'm going to tuck that, that's my 15 centimeters. If I pull down the X side, labeling that X centimeters, what you're going to observe is that the length or the longest side 20 centimeters is equal to my 15 centimeters plus my x. Therefore, using the balance method, x is going to be 30 centimeters minus 15 centimeters, which is 15 centimeters. So therefore, if I put that in, x is 15 centimeters, and the check is 15 plus 15 is 30 centimeters. So going back to my diagram, I have my x to be 15 centimeters. To find y, I'm going to do the same thing. I lighten all the lines that are parallel to your y. I have my longest side, which is 25 centimeters. I have my y, which is the unknown I'm looking for. And I have my 8 centimeters, which is also parallel. If I pull down each side as shown, starting with my 8. If I pull my 8 down to my 25, I'm going to call that my 8 centimeter side. And also, if I pull down my Y side, I'm going to call that Y centimeters. Like I did earlier, the longest side, which is my 25 centimeters, will be equal to my Y, which is the unknown, plus my 8 centimeters. Therefore, using the balance method, my y equals 25 centimeters minus 8 centimeters. And 25 minus 8, that will give me 17 centimeters. So the value of my y is 17 centimeters. And the check is, if I add 17 to 8, it's going to give me the long side, which is parallel to my y, 25 centimeters. Now that I have a value for all my sides, I'm going to find my perimeter, which is the sum of all sides, starting with my 25 centimeter side. I have 25 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus my missing side, 17 centimeter, which is the value of y, plus my x, which is 15 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus the longest side, 30 centimeters. Double checking, I'm going to count all my sides. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and all my values one, two, three, four, five, six. And adding that together, that's going to give me the perimeter P equals 110 centimeters. Let's look at another example. In the second example, I have another composite shape with a couple of missing sides. I have the side to be Y, I have X. I have five centimeters, uh, it's in meters, so I have five meters, five meters, three meters, five meters, and 12 meters. To find the perimeter, I need to find the sum of all the sides. However, I have a couple of missing sides. To find those missing sides, anytime you have the equality symbol, this states that this line Y is equal to the line three meters, and is also equal to the last line. So therefore, because the value is 3 meters, I'm going to tag each of those sides equally as 3 meters. 
that leaves me with only one side missing, which is my X side. Now, if I highlight my length X or my side X, I'm going to look for all the sides that are parallel to X. I have this side parallel to X. I have the 5 meter side parallel to X. And I also have the longest side, which is my 12 meters parallel to X. If I pull down each of the side to meet up with the longest side, I have the first one to be X. If I pull down the second side, that's the three. I have that as three meters. And the last side, which is my five meters. You will observe that the longest side, 12 meters, equals my X side plus my three meters plus my five meters. Using the balance method, I have 12 meters equals X plus eight meters. Therefore, the value of my X equals 12 meters minus my eight meters, which is four meters. So therefore, X is four meters. If I do a quick check, four plus three plus five will give me the longest side, which is my 12 meters. Now to find the perimeter, which is the sum of all sides, my perimeter P, I'm going to change that, equals, started with my five meter side, I have five meters plus X, which is four meters, plus my three Y's, three meters, plus three meters, plus three meters, plus another five meters, plus five meters, plus 12 meters. And if I add all that together, my perimeter is going to be 40 meters. Thanks for watching. Bye.